Assalamu alaikum, this is me, Vais Yusuf. Do you have any problem when you have low vocabulary? When you are not able to give answer? When you try but you can't, is anyone gonna hate you for your accent? Is he gonna notice that I am using incorrect tense? Is this person gonna laugh at me? I had these all problems, but today we are going to talk about their solution. Are you interested? Continue watching. But first of all, I have to change the position. One, two, three. The very first thing that I want to tell you that people don't care about your accent. People don't care about your words. People just care about the information that they are getting from you. If you are making yourself annoying, if your story is annoying, if your words are annoying, so obviously people will be bored with you. If your story is short, your words are good. So it is clear thing that people will attract towards you. Always use good words, even your speech is short people will not talk about your mistake they will get the knowledge from you and they will be happy with you if you are understanding today's video so you have enough words to speak another thing is start making videos you don't need to make them public but your friends can watch that when you will watch your videos you will find your mistakes like me when i was uploading my videos on facebook and youtube i was quite afraid that people are gonna laugh at me my students would laugh at me and i had a lot of fear but i uploaded my videos on youtube and facebook and i just got admiration and praise from all of the people who watched my videos so if you can say three to four sentences in english if you have a camera just put the camera and start recording your videos and don't care about the people that people are gonna judge you people are gonna find your mistakes just stand in front of camera and record your videos in this way assalamu alaikum my name is uwes yusuf by profession i am a teacher i teach in a private school i run an academy as well i was just quite passionate about english so i just learned english by myself practice so you can introduce yourself in this way was it funny i think this is sufyan quite so today my topic is mother uh, today i share you some sentences about mother and her character in our life uh, without her and this is for a chance to speak about english and in english i am not a pro in english i am a noob i am a learner learner i am trying to speak and learn english so if i would stuck somewhere you will guide me sir first let me collect some point from you what do you think about importance of english these are the most confident students of my academy they were speaking english while i was recording their videos i just uploaded on youtube and facebook and people passed good comments from themselves so now they are quite confident to speak english let me show you my old video as i mentioned before in my last video i just gave some examples some advice that uh, all of my students can get speaking the skills by those all i mean advice can you notice that my accent was totally different i was missing the eye contact i was little camera shy person whenever i watch my videos i just think that i have to change my accent i have to change my words i have to change my body language so in this way i just improve all of my english aspects if you record your videos you will notice that what are the problems in your english you will notice your eye contact you will notice the movements of your hands you will notice your body language you will notice each and everything by this way you will improve your english these were some recommendation which i was thinking to share with you i just learned english at my home so these are the tips tricks and ways by which you can learn english at your home so if you are interested follow the rule which i shared with you another thing which i want to mention at the last of the video follow any accent any international accent like british or american i follow american accent i just follow this person dozens of new words they come into your brain and then they just get wiped away and you never use them again in this video we're going to discuss differences between american and british english so basically i started learning english when i was four and um i moved to the u.s at the age of 26 so three years ago and i've definitely i haven't seen such an inspirational personality like this person if you would follow this person you will get more and more 
if you like today's video just give your like just give your comments and share this video with your friends if you think that you got a little inspiration from me if you have any topic that you think that i should record a video on your topic just write your topic below to this video i will try to do my best thanks for watching jazakallah khaira you can call me worshipper you can call me follower